Hello and welcome back to the channel this week. We've got a great episode for you. We're up in the captain's quarters of the famous Motif Number no. 1 in Rockport, Massachusetts. There is so much stuff up here that's worth photographing and it's been collected over the years by various residents. Uh, one person passes, passes it along from one skipper to the next and uh, mostly fishermen and lobstermen. But um, here's a little interview with Bill Lee, the present resident of this upper quarters of the Motif Number no. 1. Bill, here we go into the upper reaches of the Motif Number no. 1. Yep. Actually, today, I gotta find a set of oar locks up here. It's, excuse the mess. I clean it once every 10 years and it's been nine and a half. So Bill, how long have you been collecting all this stuff here? Well, I've been here. I had a stall downstairs for, oh, 30 years, 35 years. I've been up here for 10 or 12 years. I took um, Jack Burbank was up here. And when he uh, retired and moved out, he left his stuff and I put my stuff behind it. And when I retire, which is one of these days that I move on, the next guy can put his stuff on top of this stuff. <laughs> I don't think we'd ever get it out of here. Oh, it's just wow. too much stuff. Boy, there's some really neat stuff to photograph. Yeah, some guys want to come up here and do a yard sale. I don't have time for that. Not... And there's a story with everything. Not everything up here is mine. Other people have brought nifty stuff up and put it in storage for the fun of it. So... Bobby Hebb, who sang Sonny, who once played that sax up there. The Velcom of a boat I salvaged. Larry Martin did the painting in the car corner. Steve Ouellet gave me this boat fender. Steve Ouellet's wife gave me the brigantine that was in the <laughs> house. Um, Bill Cronin gave me the state flag up there. You could sit here for a week telling me about this stuff. I've had friends that come up here all the time with me, and they said, I just saw something I've never seen before. <laughs> so it happens all the time. Just something you get used to. Yeah. But there's everything that's painting up there in the corner. That's from, um, I forgot the name of the painter. That's a very famous painter who did that. His paintings are worth a fortune. Twice I've been asked, where people do painting appraisals to come up and look at the painting because that is one of his original paintings. If it was in good condition, it'd be worth a fortune. And everybody says, oh, you should try to save it. No, Jack Burbank left that behind and I'm not touching anything. That was his, I'll pass it to the next guy. Over here in this wall, those are all friends that have passed away that have been up uh, here. I'm a memorial wall, I hate to have it, but it is, Yeah, you know? I got a good view of the harbor out of here. And <laughs> you sure do. It's a great place um, to do a project. Uh, have a cup of coffee in the morning with a donut. Um, and every once in a while, um, Mark Sheldon was up here the other day looking for something for his sailboat. He found it and he left with a smile on his face. <laughs> um, people bring stuff in and just leave it. Uh, oh, this Contiki thing right here. I was at the bottom of the stairs one day. I don't know who left it, but I brought it up here. It's another piece of fun stuff. So, but everything got here somehow. I mean, there's stuff left over from Jack the Eagle and the starfish up there, for instance. I don't know, you just, <laughs> even I look around and see stuff I forgot I had. Well, Bill, thank you very much. I appreciate the, the little tour. I'm gonna make some photographs here. And The other special part about this is, is that I'm gonna be photographing with a borrowed GFX 50R from Fujifilm. Thank you Fujifilm for letting me borrow this camera and lens. It's the 32 to 64 and it's it's a different camera. It's kind of a beast uh, if you want to hand hold it, but on a tripod it's great. And as you know, Thomas Heaton uses one and before that it was Adam Gibbs camera and Adam used it for a long time. So I'm gonna try my best to try and photograph it. Now you have to understand with this camera, the uh, crop factor is 0.79, so your f8 f-stop is actually closer to 5.6, so you're losing a little bit of depth of field there, so if you're looking to get everything in focus, you might want to be doing some, some uh, focus stacking. But today I'm going to try and work my way around and see how I do. 
And we're going to only do probably, I don't know, maybe le probably less than 10 images, but I think it'll be fun doing it. And it'll be fun trying to get used to this camera here. And so let's move on to some photographs. So here's the first image here. And we're trying to get a shot of this little lighthouse that's over here. And this looks like a binnacle top over here. And there's an old, <laughs> an old spark plug over here. So. So I decided to move my angle a little bit so that I was more lined up with the window. Uh, got this lobster boat right in between the pane here. And what I'm doing is, is I'm... Focus. As you can see, what I'm trying to do is I'm focusing on his hat over here. The name of his boat is Ocean Reporter. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to focus more on this. It's my third of the frame. And I've got my, <laughs> this little life preserver up here in the, or life ring up here in the corner. Uh, so. You know, I didn't even notice the rounds of ammunition there. It looks like 50 cal. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure they're not live, but who knows? So the interesting thing about photographing in a place that's packed with stuff like this is, is that you really have to try and consolidate the chaos somehow. So unfortunately this lens is either going to give you a wide angle view like a 25 or it goes from like full frame like a 25 to 52 or something like that. And unfortunately that doesn't, it's not able to get you in really nice and tight like I'd like to see. But it's still fun to use it. Um, and I'm using manual focus. And it's really dark in here, except near the window. And uh, so I'm, I'm right about 1.3 seconds, somewhere in that range. So, uh, but it's fun. It's, it's, it's interesting. So here's our next shot here. And really what I'm zooming in on, or I'm, my, my main focus area is this hand drill right here. Which is really kind of neat. Uh, and up here in the background is a painting by a famous painter. And there's some other stuff, you know, like the lights and stuff. It's kind of interesting. Now this next shot here, I'm really trying to work on just focusing in this area here and the buoy in the background. Uh, so we'll see how this works. Um, the window, I think I can live with that. I can maybe burn that in a little bit. We'll see what happens. So I wasn't able to take out the window, or I should say I wasn't able to burn in the window the way I wanted to. And I probably should have done an exposure blend of some kind to take care of that problem. But I still like the image. <music> So the last one was a vertical, and it's really kind of interesting. You got a buoy, it's got a parrot in it, and also there's a lot of different neat stuff in here. Um, I'm probably gonna take a few more, and then uh, go back to the ranch and we'll look at them. Because the, really the interesting thing is about these enormous files is, is that they just have so much information in it, I can't wait to play with them. So we got a little shot here that includes a ship's painting up here newspaper articles and a bunch of other things that are really really interesting sorry to not have any video with these next few images but the uh, battery in my xh1 died so this is not a great image, but it's still kind of fun. You know, the, the copper crown and the Prince Albert in a can.
I thought this image was kind of neat with this plastic nautical scene, you know, with the map and the, the compass and the light, and it just was kind of cool. And then on the way out, I really liked this scene out the window of the, har the inner harbor. I would have liked to have focus stacked this, but I was shooting handheld, so I couldn't. So what a great time we had over here at Bill Lee's uh, captain's quarters above the motif number one, the famous motif number one in Rockport. I had a really great time photographing some of the really interesting and weird things here in this this space. Hey, if you really like this stuff that I'm photographing, please give me a like, and comment, and uh, maybe even subscribe to the channel. That would be great. And if you get a chance, check out kpnphototours.com. And remember, it's not what you photograph, it's how you photograph it, which is evident today. And that's it for this week, and we'll catch you next time.